Okay, here we go. From Blackpool, England, weighing 208 pounds, the challenger for the heavyweight crown, Brian London. From Rockville Center, New York, the heavyweight champion of the world, Floyd Patterson. London, 208 pounds, Patterson, 182 and one quarter pounds. And now for the official instruction. London, London, London. <laughs> London, who's your chief second? I am. Patterson, who's your chief second? Aye. All right, now you boys received your instructions from the Indiana State Athletic Commission. I'm in here to enforce them. I want a clean break at all times. I want no rabbit punching, go to kidney punches. Be careful of your low blows, they may cost you around. In case of a knockdown, I want you to go to your first corner and stay there until I tell you to come out fighting. This being a championship contest, the eight count will be waived. Shake hands now, come out fighting, and good luck to both of you. Patterson, 182 and a quarter, uh, London, 208, differential in weight. right hand. Uh, evidently, if he can get this fight over in the first round, he'll do it. He is really out to stop it fast. seconds to yell the head down he was standing upright and they wanted him to go into a crouch they wanted him to go into a crouch that's Patterson black the London's left cheek uh, bone is swelling to the end of the first round. London is holding his gloves high, protecting his chin, and he's uh, giving uh, Patterson open shots at the uh, body. seconds to the end of round one. That's the end of round one.
Floyd Patterson lashes out in uh, real hard punching combinations. He's not toying with his man by any means. He seems grimly determined to knock him out. sharp and dealing out an awful lot of punishment. There's seven or eight straight punches. Those shots to the body and shots to the head were six, seven in a, in a row, almost like a tattoo of blows. Patterson is usually a slow starter, a phlegmatic type, but tonight he's full of fire. He's really bombing away. <laughs> he shrugged his shoulders. <laughs> Uh, shrugged his shoulders up to say, so what, I, I missed already. <laughs> a very comic little thing. <laughs> That's a, a typical New York gesture. That was one of the hardest punches he threw since the fight started. Well, let's take a look at Brian London. He's the former British and Empire heavyweight champion. It's a title once held by his father, Jack London, who won it at the age of 31 while a sergeant in the Royal Air Force. He defeated Freddie Mills. This boy was born in Blackpool, England, uh, five days after Max Bear stopped Primo Carnera for the same title that he hopes to win tonight. His father was a boxer. He and his brother also boxed as an amateur. He won 85 out of 87. Five years ago at the British Empire Games at Vancouver, he won the heavyweight title. In March of 55, he turned professional. He won 11 of his first dozen bouts by knockouts, and then in his 13th bout, he faced Henry Cooper, who stopped him in one. It was the same Cooper who beat him in January to win the British heavyweight title, a crown that London had won from Joe Erskine by a knockout last June. In four years as a pro, he earned $56,000, which is more than his father earned in 19 years in the ring correct name is Brian Harper. He has a 22 and 4 record, scored 19 knockouts. Patterson has a 34 and 1 record, scored 24 knockouts. point must system if you're scoring in the state of Indiana or anywhere else for that matter that's the official count here if you call around even each boy gets five points usually it's five four or if Patterson wins by a wide margin it's five three to the end of round three. Patterson seconds are yelling at him, head down.
London and White is doing more pawing than punching. His blows don't have the snap or the speed of Patterson's. Ten seconds to the end of round three. That's the end of round three. Well, the crowd uh, here, and it's a, a very fine crowd and a beautiful night. This uh, weather was so good here today in the 80s, they could have held this fight outdoors. They might have held it outdoors had they known it was going to be that good. But in the press headquarters at the Harrison, uh, all the boxing riders, without exception, including all the British riders, picked Patterson to win by a knockout with two exceptions. up against his face, his elbows out at an angle. This familiar crouch. He leads, he leads with either fist from that position. going to his corner. He's the youngest ever to win the championship. He beat Archie Moore in Chicago in November of 56 in five rounds. He won the title at 21. He topped Joe Lewis by two years. Since becoming the heavyweight king, he's defended his crown three times, KOing Tommy Jackson, Pete Rademacher, and Roy Harris. While he's been the youngest ever to win the title, he's been topped by two other boxers who have won it in less bouts. Jim Jeffries in his 13th, Jess Willard, who's watching tonight in California, in his 31st, and that was one less than Patterson. He was born in Waco, North Carolina. He has grown, and we've watched him, from a 147-pound sub-novice boxer in the 1950 Daily News Golden Gloves to become the champion of the world. Along the way, he won nine amateur titles, including the 1952 Olympics. He, he lost only one professional fight, and that was to Joey Max. Slight cut on the cheekbone, right cheekbone of um, Brian London. He's in the black trunks, the champion in white. Your cavalcade of sports coming your way from Indianapolis. Tremendous body blows have slowed down um, London. I've taken all the sting out of his jab. He's just pawing with a very slow, slow motion leads. And that accentuates the speed of the champion.
30 seconds uh, yelled uh, to uh, Patterson, keep your hands up getting out, meaning protect yourself as you back away from that clinch. but he scores 75% of his shots at big target. Ten seconds. That's the end of the round. and changed his strategy in this round. He backed away and backed away and then suddenly he stepped in because he's a good uh, six feet away from his man. He's going to come slashing in and slashing out. He kept up a steady pressure in the earlier rounds. And of course, this is round six. And that's the champion. This is a been called by him and his manager a tune-up fight, but the only difference between this and a ordinary tune-up fight is that if accidentally the challenger wins, he gets the title. Title is at stake here. All the way. instructions of Patterson in the body. Also, London has been going into more of a crouch this round than in previous rounds. He usually stood, he has been standing straight up and is been open for body shots. Now he's been leaning forward to protect the body and at the same time protect his head with his gloves. That was the round in which um, Patterson came out and circled his man instead of bombing him immediately and that was the round in which uh, London went more into a crouch to protect his body and at the same time holding his gloves up to protect his head. By, by leaning forward in a clouch, his elbows come down and protect the, uh, his, his ribs because they're badly battered and bruised. This is round seven of a 15-rounder with the world title at stake. The champion is Floyd Patterson and White, the challenger, Brian London. 
Only three Britishers have come over here to fight for the title. And many foreign boxers have had chances at the World Heavyweight Crown. Carpentier, Firpo, Heaney, Farr, Cockell, and Godoy, but only four have been successful in winning it. Bob Fitzsimmons, Tommy Burns, Max Schmeling, and Primo Carnera. Seconds again, you'll hook faster, head down. One minute to the end of round seven. seconds to the end of round seven of a 15 rounder that's the end of round seven now have a tendency to, to uh, go into a crouch together. If you'll notice that when Patterson goes into his crouch, London goes into his. flurry of applause there. Uh, one of the infrequent times that uh, London led, he led with, with a right uppercut as they moved into a clinch, and that was the occasion of the applause. slowed down now to where he seems to be unable to avoid any of the leads.
London's jabs are very light, uh, just delicate little flicks. right to the uh, stomach hurt London you can see him gasp and pull back he's a very game Englishman he's taking a bad battering in there interesting to note the reaction of the crowd here. They're having a wonderful time. Uh, it's a noisy crowd. They're applauding. They're enjoying it. And of course, the curiosity factor of seeing the champion of the world in action uh, has uh, interested them. Noisy crowd, a happy crowd, a sellout crowd nearly. Boing. They're doing an awful lot of uh, signaling and talking to each other there. Uh, Patterson got off uh, five or six jabs and a, a terrific right and nodded as if to say, how did you like that one? thumping shots. London has really been hurt. That's the first time I've seen him show any reaction to that punishment. London is hurt, so we may, if, we, if he lasts this round out, we'll have a camera on him in the corner and see uh, how his seconds are working over him. He slowed down. He started off slow, and he's real slow now. spoke to uh, Floyd in the clinch there. Knocked 
The bell rang. The bell rang at the count of five, and uh, London got up and walked to his corner. Now we'll watch them work on him. The count got to five as his knee came off the canvas, right a foot or two away from us here in the ring apron. Now we're looking directly at London's corner, they gave him some smelling sauce and they have the uh, ice bag on his head. But apparently because he got up and walked under his own steam, the doctor is not being called in the ring to check him. First knockdown of the fight, around 11. Uh, London's uh, number of rounds that he lasted with the champion with Archie Moore who lasted five he's now passed uh, Hurricane Jackson's total those body shots he is five six seven eight nine ten the fight is over the fight is over in round 11 with a full count of 10, a very dramatic shot here now. Let's see what they're doing to uh, to London because the champion is leaning over to see what he can do. And now he's been pulled back up on his feet upright. Florio on the left and Costamato, the white-haired uh, manager of the champion. They finally got London to his feet. And the crowd here is giving him a big, a big hand. He took a terrific clobbering. Never had a chance. Never looked like he was even going to come close to hurting the champion, and the champion hurt him steadily with body blows. Ladies and gentlemen, a KO in 51 seconds of the 11th round. The winner and still heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Patterson. And now into the ring and Don Dumpy. Champion Floyd Patterson. And just as soon as he's ready, come on in, Don. Patterson, the heavyweight champion of the world who has just defended his title by knocking out Brian London here in Indianapolis. Congratulations, Floyd. Thank you. Do you think, uh, and it's, I get the impression that this was one of your toughest fights as uh, far as giving out punishment and failing to get the man down. How do you feel about that? Well, this man was a very, very tough fighter. I don't think I've ever fought anyone quite as tough outside of Dick Wagner and Hurricane Jackson. But this man took everything I had to offer and still stuck on his, still stood on his feet. I think even though he might have lost tonight, he might have won as far as his country is concerned because I think he is very, very game and he is to be congratulated for that, if nothing else. Well, Floyd, that's awfully nice of you and I guess that's about every, what everybody feels. Did he hurt you at any time? Well, I, I, I didn't get hurt, but I imagine if I would have been a more stationary target, I probably would have gotten hurt several times. Oh, one more question, Floyd. I know you're a little wary from the punching. How do you feel you were tonight? Were you sharp as compared with the Harris fight? Well, I was a little better. Of course, I still have a long way to go. Uh, there were still opportunities there tonight that I failed to take advantage of, but I'm a little better than I was when I fought Harris, and I guess by the time I fight Johansson, uh, I'll probably be even sharper. Thank you very much, Floyd Patterson. Good luck and continued good luck. And now here's Cut D'Amato, the manager of the heavyweight champion. Cut, I'd like you to come over to our NBC radio and cameras and tell us your, what you thought about the fight. I thought that this fellow was up against just too much speed, but he's a dead game fellow, and I think if he trains in the United States under American tutoring for six months, he'll run most of these fighters out of the ring. Well, uh, Cut, now what do you think about uh, Patterson tonight? I thought Floyd was uh, twice as good a fighter as he was with Harris. I believe that he'll be a better fighter even next time. 
Uh, were you satisfied with his weight? He was a little bit light, wasn't he? 182 and a fraction. I'm never, I'm never concerned with his weight as long as Patterson feels good. He had speed, he had power, but this guy had extraordinary gameness and gameness and ability to simply punish. Well, there's no question about it. Well, Cus, good luck to you and congratulations. Thank you very I much. thought it was a good fight from your Thank standpoint. You. Thank, you, Thank very you very much. I'd like to go over and see if I could get Brian London over to our NBC microphone. Uh, both boys are posing for pictures out here in the center of the ring. Brian, uh, come on over to our NBC microphones and cameras. And uh, how do you feel, Brian? Well, <laughs> over I, feel, I feel proud to have fought in Floyd Patterson for the World Heavyweight title. And I think, personally, in my own opinion, I am quite in my senses now that Floyd Patterson is the fastest thing on two feet. He was awfully fast tonight, he wasn't he? the fastest thing on two feet. I was hoping when I fought him, he may have had a bad night, but boy, if that's a bad night, he can sure go. Well, uh, Brian, I, you didn't seem to put on an offensive yourself throughout the fight. Were you kept busy defending yourself? Yeah, more or less, you know. You seen the fight, didn't you? <laughs> I sure did. Well, thank you very much no and good luck, and you put on a game effort. You're, you you're worthy of your country. That's one month and he'll be all right. All right, Nick. Thank you very much. And now back to ringside. Okay. Well, in, uh, in round 10, there was a knockdown, the first knockdown of the fight for five seconds. In round 11, uh, London was knocked out in 51 seconds of round 11. And, of course, Floyd Patterson did look much better than he did in his previous fights. And uh, Customato summed it up pretty neatly. He intends to improve, and it should be a terrific fight when he meets uh, Johansson.